going on YouTube? So today we're going to cut back on some of the crazy stuff and just talk about a simple gene. It's always been a personal favorite of mine and I'm sure you've seen it. You probably got some of it if you got some ball pythons. We'll talk about leopard. All right, so what is leopard? Leopard is what they consider a dominant gene. There is a super version of leopard and it's very hard to ID that super, uh, super version. It's almost exactly the same thing. Sometimes in combos, uh, the super leopards will look a slightly different, but it's really not one of those things that you can tell without breeding to see if it proves that or not. So, anyway. And you breed it to prove out because then everything will be a everything leopard. Be leopard. All right, guys, there you go, learning. So. A very dominant, very unique, uh, it's, it's just been one of those staple genes in the industry. Really beautiful. Uh, usually you get these elongated patterns. It's a darker mutation. Really cool. Usually get some decent looking um, uh, head patterns. So, something I want to bring up too is... Your leopard pattern varies drastically. So it can do different things. And that sometimes gets confusing when we put leopard into combinations because uh, just because something looks different, you think it's automatically a leopard because leopard might do that. But it's just one of those genes that you you can't see it it's not their type thing it's very hard to distinguish exactly what leopard does other than it's just a darker mutation usually doesn't have much of a dorsal unless it has hip pod and we'll get into that here shortly so anyway next up this is leopard lesser and this combo varies a lot it's very um very different depending on your line of lesser or butter and very different depending on uh, how leopard reacts with that so just uh, keep that in mind when you're doing leopard lesser stuff this one is not a standard look in my opinion it actually has a little bit more reduced pattern than uh, than what you see on most leopard lesser stuffs but uh, that that's some of that varying from the leopard what I was trying to say earlier but we will leave him here and his sibling looks very similar you can see kind of the you know similar uh, similar things going on here some striping and more of a pastel -y look all right not pastel yeah I'm not it's not but it has a pastel look. so it's obviously lighter mm -hmm. the patterns are more elongated mm-hmm so, what do you think? Well, it's not pastel, and it's not a double lesser. Nope. Because a double lesser makes a... Bell. Okay. So that ain't no bell. Um, it's not Desert Ghost. It's not Hypo. And the pattern, the pattern's elongated. So, I don't know. What, what do y'all think it is? What do y'all think? Comment below. So... I'm going to tell you right now, though. Give you, two, uh, give you two options of what would make this animal look like this. Mm-hmm. One will be fire. Fire does some very similar things. Fire leopard lesser looks very similar to this. But there was no fire in this pairing. There was orange dream. So orange dream will elongate too? Yep. Orange dream will elongate the patterns with OD. So what's really crazy is when you take the lesser out of this snake. Mm -hmm. And there you go. OD This leopard. is what you get. So this is OD Leopard versus OD Leopard Lesser. Crazy what one gene can do here. So, I love me some OD. And Orange Dream is a little bit more difficult to pick out in Leopard. So remember Leopard is a darkening gene. Mm -hmm. So when you put Orange Dream to it, it, um, it makes it very difficult to see sometimes. Uh, if it's not a real good quality orange dream, 
really cool. But you can see how Orange Dream kind of elongated the back pattern, mm -hmm. changes it up a little bit orange. I'm going to get the regular Leopard back out, just so you can see what Orange Dream has done here. Uh, regular Leopard versus OD Leopard. So Orange Dream doesn't really change the pattern up because Leopard's a very dominant gene. It takes a lot to uh, change that pattern. But you can tell it definitely changed the color up. So. All right, y'all ready for the kicker? Well, you mean there's more? Oh, yeah. Okay. How many, how many, how many more? One more big one? One. One. Is it always one? It's always one that has all the genes. So the pairing that made all of these was Leopard Calico to OD Lesser. So now you have a Leopard OD Calico Lesser? Yep. This is oh, hello. all of it. All balled up. So what we have OD. Mm hmm. Leopard Lesser, so very similar to this, but Calico has made it more orange and the white. So these three are girls and these two are boys. Alright, so there's an old myth about all leopards that are striped are hip pied. So I just want to say that although that's always a possibility with leopard, because leopard and pod kind of came in somewhat together, kind of like black head, red gene, ring, ringer gene type stuff. Uh, it all came on the scene about the same time from some of the same animals. Uh, so leopard does track back to being hip hot, but that doesn't necessarily mean that every leopard that is striped is going to be hip hot, especially when you're mixing bell genes like Mojave and Lesser into it. So just uh, wanted to put that on a table. Hope you all enjoyed this video. See you all next time. Be out! Thanks for watching Hardwired Exotics and make sure you subscribe. Bye!